Hey guys, so I'm going to Costa Rica in two days. These are the two bags that I'm bringing with me and I'm going to show you what's inside of them. So I'm bringing two backpacks on this trip, the REI Ruck Pack 40 liter. I recently upgraded to this pack and I'll tell you why I like it later on in the video. And then this Confial Raven pumpkin. I will show you what's in this bag first. On the outside, I have this little personal safety alarm thing. Since you can't bring pepper spray onto an airplane, you can just pull this and it makes a really loud alarm. So this bag opens up completely, which is cool. It's water resistant and it has not a secret pocket, um, but a seat mat thing you can take out to sit on. So this is everything I'm bringing in a little bag. I have my passport, my wallet, a really sloppy written itinerary on a piece of paper with names and addresses and numbers. I also have a PDF on my phone, a pin, phone charger, snacks, sunglasses, two little stones. This is all extra SD cards. These are the two sweaters that I'm bringing for the entire trip. GoPro, a standard lens for my camera, and I'm going to bring the wide angle lens that's attached to it right now. An eye mask, tissues, candle, and journal. My toiletry bag, I'll show you what's in here. And then I bring this extra copy of my passport to leave in both of my bags. I put my toiletries, my liquids, and all my electronics in my little bag for the flight, just so I don't have to go into my main bag when I'm going through security. I almost forgot I have a spare portable charger for my phone in case the battery dies. I don't have to worry about it. It charges my phone like two and a half times. And voila. These are all the liquids I'm bringing with me. Body wash, lotion, a little lotion to carry with me. Face wash, toothpaste, eye drops, itch cream because I'm expecting it a bit a lot. This is my like travel lifesaver. It's a mix of just rubbing alcohol and a bunch of drops of lavender essential oil. I use it as hand sanitizer, and I also use it as a refresher spray on my armpits, uh, <laughs> between my boobs and stuff when you get sweaty. It's, uh, the alcohol is very cooling. This is a nicer sunscreen that I'm gonna use for my tattoos. A stain pin, a spraying bug spray, and this is a mix of bug spray and SPF. This is a mix of different products that I use in my hair. So I just take this one little container. This is a little thing of soap I took from work. We don't do soap suds enemas, so we usually just throw these packets away, but I'm gonna bring it to do laundry. <laughs> this is my new travel backpacking backpack. Uh, it has lots of really cool features. I'll show you at the very end, but I'll show you what I packed first. The bag has this top section that you get to from the back. I only have a few things in here. A floaty thing for the GoPro. A headlamp. Some C-bands in case I get car sick on the taxi to the hostel. You unclip these two bits on the side, and then you can unzip the bag all the way around. And the main reason I switched over to a bag like this is because it opens up almost all the way, 100%. I have a rain jacket, my toiletry bag, a pair of flip-flops. Most of my clothes are in this packing cube. A pair of hiking sandals. And I'm wearing my hiking boots with a really nice pair of socks on the plane. And then the very bottom, the most exciting thing I'm packing is my Rusta Eno hammock and the straps. So I'm so excited that I have room for this. Um, and here I just have another backup piece of paper of my passport in case for some reason I get separated from one bag or the other thing. This is my toiletry bag. In my toiletry bag I have a main towel, a little towel, and the microfiber quick drying towels. A razor, stick deodorant. This is, it's not a loofah, but it like scrubs your body that I'll use with a body wash. Tongue cleaner, toothbrush, lip balm, nail clipper, safety pin, they always come in handy. This is a thing to take off hangnails, some q-tips, some band-aids, and then some flossers. I'm also going to be bringing um, my face powder with SPF in it and stuff for my brows and that's all the makeup that I'll be bringing. These are little scissors. I don't know if they'll catch me with them on the plane. Those are all my toiletries. In this top compartment, I just have oatmeal, Laura bars, Cliff bars, a couple bags of tea, some peanut butter, Basically some vegan snacks, because I have to be vegan for this trip. Here in this middle section, there is a zipper. And I have all of my um, underwear, swimsuits, socks. For my clothes, I'm wearing these leggings uh, and this shirt. One scarf, one dress for the ceremony, a pair of Spanx. These are all my shirts. I have all tank tops, some that I can work out in, some that I can, even though they're not really for it. And then a regular like t-shirt 
to sleep in, two pairs of athletic shorts, and then two regular daytime shorts. And then this cute headband. I'm kind of going to grow my hair out a little bit on the trip to see what it looks like, and it's going to be a hot mess, and I found this, and it was super cute, and hopefully it'll cover it up a bit. And so yeah, that's all the clothes I am carrying. In terms of activities that I'm doing for the trip, I am hiking to a waterfall, we're going to Manuel Antonio National Park, so it's like some mild hiking. We're going to the beach, and we'll be doing lots of yoga and outdoor activities. These are the hiking boots that I'm bringing. They're super lightweight, which is cool. So yeah, that's everything in the main part of the bag. It has really nice waist pockets. It doesn't have zippers here, but I find I never use the pockets on this side. On the very bottom of the bag right here, it's kind of hard to see. It's like Velcroed clothes. If you take it undone, there's a strap where you can zip it around and it covers up all the straps. So it's now in like duffel bag mode. The zipper to the main compartment can zip all the way behind your head for security. And there's two little spots where you can fit a lock through. I am also bringing this water bottle. It's cool because it has almost all the loops you would need to carry it. There's no straps to carry like a sleeping pad. Other than that, this is everything you would also need for like a day trip. And I like it because you can kind of shove them into the little holes to hide it so you don't have all these straps poking out. There's lots of little loops here so you can put a carry breeder. On this side of the bag, it opens up. It's like a perfect compartment for my Kindle. I'm just going to bring it on the little bag with me. Some slots for pins. This one and then otherwise just this other nice deep pocket that's separated from the rest of the bag. It also has this secret internal pocket which is perfect for hiding your passport or something more valuable. There is a very similar zip on the other side, but it actually gives you access to the main part of the bag. So if I wanted to just grab my shoes really quickly, I can do that. Some mesh in between, so you could put an umbrella or something like that, and it would still be kind of separated from the main part of the bag. And I forgot to show, this is the lock I'm bringing for the hostel. A carabiner that I can use to loop on my shoes. There is an included rain cover. And I like how it's very sleek on the outside. The only downside is that it doesn't really stand on its own. It has a compression strap on each side to make the bag a little bit smaller and also bring the load closer to your back so it carries better. And even with bringing the hammocks, I still have quite a decent amount of space. The bag also has a really comfy support system. It has the standard sternum strap with the whistle. I find that it's actually, I can't get it tight enough on me, but just barely. You have the straps here, which lift the load off your shoulders a little bit. And then what I love about this bag is that you can coil up the extra straps on itself. This is what the pack looks like on. And I'll probably be pulling one of these a lot while we're walking around. Super sexy. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned if you want to see my Costa Rica video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Bye.